Hey, thanks for that question. You know, APS works closely with each municipality to make sure that we're making decisions that are best for our customers. Here are the three things that we look at when we set up any power lines. Is this the safest option? Is it the most reliable option? And how much is this gonna cost our customers? So let's go through each one of those with both above ground and below ground lines. With above ground, you can see we have poles. They go up high in the sky. We have transformers, capacitor banks. When we do below ground lines, you still need all that equipment. So what they do is they create a concrete footprint and make a little box. You've probably seen them in other neighborhoods and they take all that gear and they put it in that box. And then the lines go underground into your homes. Going back to the above ground option, they're susceptible to the elements. We've all seen monsoon season and those winds come in and they can knock over a pole. Our crews can easily get that pole out of there. They can work swiftly, safely, and get power back up and running for our customers. When we go to below ground, well now the advantage there is that those lines are out of the elements, so we don't have to worry about winds knocking over those lines. However, we do run into situations where maybe a construction crew unintentionally cuts the line while they're digging. Those below ground lines are harder to repair, they take a little bit longer time, and setting up that entire footprint is more expensive than the above ground option. There's not a right or wrong decision all across the board. We have to make decisions that are best for each area. To learn more about what APS is doing to make their decisions and deliver electricity to you, go to APS.com. Thank you for that question.